case case then you zero one five eight fifty year old year with great disease and sick and sick sentence. The pay have been well until approximately three months before their Curry a mission when intermittent dizziness, palpitation, nerve syncope, diaphoresis, polyuria, polyxia, diarrhea, chest, abdominal pain, hemorrhages, in increasing protuber on the eyes develop. The pain on sixth day she was friendly, cold and cooperative with a utility mood and congruent affect. Her touch processes were liner and girl direct and she have no delusions, evidence, or perpetual disturbance of omission or suicidal ideation. Patient. 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 Different diagnosis. The different diagnosis for this, price, this painting constellation of symptoms include primary move or syncotic synco disorder sustain induced moon or sickness sickness this disorder delirium eating disorder and mood disorder due to other general medical condition has a thyroid located in the right here in this area. It's like a little butterfly shape. We're dealing with the hormones which uh, operate the body. Hormones are what remind you to help people what to do with your creatures that you're facing. Now, in grave disease, the immune system, which is supposed to be like our best friend, goes to this thyroid and says, hey, you need to make a whole lot more hormones and get to work. And the thyroid becomes hyperactive, which is called hyperthyroidism. And what does that see a lot of times in the body? So some of the most common symptoms would be like an increased heart rate, a heart pulse. Uh, they can also make them more irritable, nervous, anxious. Someone can put some tremors in their hands, be shaking a little bit. Almost like if someone has way too much coffee. And just like with too much coffee, you could probably just have some sleep, make it hurt, then you would get rest. The other symptoms of a uh, no lack of thyroid would be unusual weight loss, frequent diarrhea, and unusual sweating, decrease in libido, having little hair, and perhaps some thinning of the skin. Next, since the fact that working really, really hard, you can actually get large in the side, especially if someone notices their throat area by hearing a little bit bigger, you have a clear warning sign of this health problem. Now, the other symptoms, which is going to be a little bit more unusual, it doesn't really happen all, all that much. It would be a pain in the eyes, if the back of it gets all inspired. 
And this could, of course, impact someone's eyesight in a negative way. Uh, maybe not. But also, strangely enough, that smoking cigarettes actually increases the risk of this happening. Health, health ex experts aren't really sure why it happens, but it has probably has something to do with the immune system. Attacking the eyes. <laughs> this person's skin could get all red and kind of thick. It can happen anywhere in the body, but it usually happens in the top of someone's feet, as well as the bottom of someone's legs. The good news about this is that uh, it's not really painful, and actually does it on its own, it's just a little bit weird than usual. Again, health experts aren't sure why it happens, but uh, it's not really the immune system. Now, if you're wondering what causes this problem, one of the main ones would be like an injury. So if someone hits you in the throat or something, you like an accident, if they damage it, you can about it. So basically protect the throat area. Also, uh, smoking tobacco increases the risk. As well as pretty much every disease increases the risk. So uh, I know life can be stressful sometimes, and believe me. <laughs> Uh, so, you just want to try something else to be stressed out and smoking. Uh, so there's many other better ideas. I can go. Now, if you want to prevent this problem, there's actually a lot of ways to do it. That's how I can talk about. But there's a lot of herbal remedies that can actually really, really help to help and decrease the chance of getting brain disease. Anything that reduces inflammation can help. Uh, inflammation is basically when the immune system attacks itself. And that's what the disease, disease is all about, right? So one good idea would be something like ginger. Looking at that, it makes the leaves a fantastic herb. It's definitely good. It's not a herb, it's actually a fat. It's good fat. Another one would be turmeric. Great choice. Now also, you should definitely be taking a good multivitamin. The fact is your vitamins to operate correctly. If you're deficient, you just run. I make a really good one. Just to give you one idea on how much. If so the lady, if a woman is pregnant or expecting to be pregnant and she's deficient in folic acid, it can increase her chance of giving birth to a child with neural tube defects by 70% of the match. Now, a neural tube defect is when the baby has brain and spinal problems and usually results in death. Very sad. But that's the reality of the situation. Now, if you're just relying on food to get these supplements, uh, I think that's a big mistake. Uh, the reason why is that our food simply doesn't have the vitamins and nutrients that we use to. A lot of reasons for this. One would be because they use a lot of chemicals in farming. It would be the, uh, the, the shipping of food to long places. It's staying on store shelves every second. It loses vitamins. Cooking. So it's not worth gambling. Now before you go out and start buying a bunch of dietary supplements to improve your health, it's a great thing to do. There's some things you should be aware of. For starters, the sad truth is, in many countries, government agencies don't really ensure these products are safe before they're sold to consumers. Uh, there's a lot of reasons for it, but the big one is they don't have the resources in time. So the real question is, how do you know that next supplement you're going to buy is actually going to do you more good than that? How do you know it's actually going to continue the ingredients that's listed on the label? The fact is, you really don't. Um, I'll help you. I'm sure you're a busy person. I actually created a guide that I feel can really help many people in the whole process of going out there and buying these supplement products. Now, there's a few things you'll learn in this guide. It will be help you to identify a good, healthy supplement brand from a risky one and some of the red flags about uh, risky choices that you may not be aware of. It does Simplify herbal remedies out there too, and goes over some herbal products that are actually do more damage than good that you may not be even aware of. And some of these herbal products that are pretty bad for your health are actually everyday items like tea. So it's great to know about. It also explains the role of government agencies and what they do to hold regulate the industry, which is fascinating, I think. And it provides some online resources to make your job even easier. Oh, and in case I do forget, this guide is completely free. So you'd be happy to know that it's not going to cost you anything, except a little bit of your time, which is definitely worth it. And you can actually learn more, and you can check out this guy by simply clicking on the link on the right here to do it. And you can check out this guy by simply clicking on the link on the right here to do I really appreciate your time. I hope uh, you learned a few things that will help you in the future. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Take care, and I'll see you next time.
discussion of management, treatment with an atypic antisicoti agent such as olanzapine is a good choice for this painting in addition to this antipsychotic effect. Olanzapine has a um, efficacy in, redu in reducing many symptoms. Conclusion. In this case, the recurrent lavender nerves were were monitored during the surgery, but in a large studio near monitoring was monitoring was not shown to reduce the rate on jury to recurrent lavender nerves.